Amiria? With their foreboding presence, all-knowing eyes, and undying loyalty, the dire wolf was as much a part of Game of Thrones as the actors themselves. And this morning, colossal biosciences say that they have managed to bring these mythical creatures, who last roamed the Earth 10,000 years ago, back from extinction. They say it's the first time an extinct species has ever come back to life. Scientists have predicted that by 2050, more than half of species that are alive today could become extinct. I don't want that future. According to Beth Shapiro and her team, they extracted high quality DNA from dire wolf fossils and combined that with the genome of a gray wolf. That animal looks like a dire wolf, it will behave like a dire wolf, and it is a dire wolf. Colossal's chief animal officer, Matt James, is in charge of taking care of the three white dire wolves. Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi. Colossal is keeping the now six-month-old dire wolves at an undisclosed location on a 2,000-acre enclosed nature preserve. The responsibility lies on me and my team in order to make sure that those animals live the best life possible, experience the most optimal welfare possible. Dr. Robert Klitzman is a bioethicist and geneticist at Columbia University. And while excited about the idea of the dire wolf. And I mean, gee, that's impressive. There's a certain wow factor, like how cool is that, right? He has concerns. The bottom line is a lot of the genome we still do not understand. Uh, and so one wants to be careful if you're mucking around with genes uh, that there may be things we don't understand. You may produce a wolf that's twice as ferocious. After all, Jurassic Park, which explored the concept of bringing dinosaurs back from extinction, might have started like this. But it wound up like this. Hey! A cautionary tale for scientists. Ecosystems are very delicately balanced and nature is far more complicated than our ability as humans to understand it or to understand all the possible unforeseen consequences.